What's up guys? Welcome to the channel today. It is a nice day in Utah. I can finally work with the door open. It feels so good. If you are new to this channel, today we are working on our 1995 Kuki 240SX project that we are giving away when the build is done. So, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and stay tuned so that when we announce how you can enter to win it, you don't miss your opportunity. Today I'm pumped because our install is a part that really determines the overall look and style of a car, but it's also a performance part that's super important if you have a turbo car. So let's, let's check it out. Today we got our new intercooler. So we are keeping a front mount intercooler, just a traditional front mount. We're able to use our old piping and everything and just replace this core. And I'm gonna show you the differences between what we've got here. Here's our old intercooler core and this is called tube and fin. And if you look at it right here, how it like dips down between the fins or the tubes and then back down and up, it's really weird. I've never seen that before. And I just assumed it was a cheaper intercooler, kind of crappy, which it is. Tube and fin design intercoolers are susceptible to damages when used in front mount intercooler situations. So we're getting rid of this one and we're replacing it with this one. Let's open this thing up. So this is the Mishimoto S-Line intercooler. And you can see on the other side, there's no stencil. On this side, they've got their Mishimoto logo stencil. And if you look closely, you're gonna see what I was talking about. This one is called bar and plate design when it comes to intercoolers. And you can see it's all flat right here and flush. Looks way better. It's way more durable. Um, you've got fins running the whole thickness of the intercooler on these. This is gonna look and perform a thousand times better. Ultimately, I was concerned that the old one was leaking. When we did a smoke test, uh, it was hard to tell if it was leaking there or the coupler, but the other one was so smashed up, it was just gonna look like garbage anyway. So let's get this new one on the car. Before we cover it up, check out that new turbo. 2871, twisted motion. Hyped to see how this thing performs, but first, we got to get this thing hooked up. This will be a quick install. It's literally four bolts and then a couple of couplers to connect the piping. So on this car right now, this is all going to change. So you can see right here, our core support's been bent. So we are going to have to redo all that, which in turn, we will need to redo our intercooler mounting. But we got to get this thing ready to tune first and foremost before we fix all that. So we're going to get it set up make sure all the clamps are tight, there's no leaks, and be one step closer to tuning this thing and driving it. Now, big decisions, big decisions. Do we run the logo out or in? Uh, let me know what you think below. Once you get into a project, it always takes longer than you think. I had to make new brackets. All right, if you can see here, the old intercooler core was rubbing right along this area. Uh, you can see it right there where I had taken the paint off because the brackets they had were holding it too close. So with the new brackets, it's gonna hold the intercooler further away at a safe distance so it doesn't get a hole in it. This thing looks so good. It's all mounted with new hardware, new brackets holding it down low, and it is really starting to look like a race car again. 
Oh, I'm pumped to have that on. That looks mean. The front end of this car is just so aggressive. Ooh. All right, now I'm gonna get the piping on both sides and that's it for today. got couplers on both sides I like to run my clamps in a hidden area so that it looks clean and is accessible when you need to take them on and off thanks for joining and watching today's episode hopefully you learned something about mounting an intercooler or you saw an intercooler you're looking to buy and most importantly hopefully you're tuned in and ready to enter to win this car I'm pumped on the project, hopefully you guys are too. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it and what you are most excited about in this build. Stay tuned, thanks guys.